welcome back to the channel so first of all just log in with your credentials and once you're done with that just simply come back over here now just simply search for the kubernetes cluster just simply click over here then click on this three dot and then click on this connect option then click on this run in cloud shell wait for a second now now just wait now here you can see one command is already created for us before that let, let me just increase the text size for you now just hit enter wait for a second and then click on this authorize now just simply click on the task number two copy this first command come back over here paste then copy the second command and just wait for until this command can execute Now run the second command, then copy this third command, run, then copy this command, just wait until this command get execute and it's done. Now run the fourth command. Now just copy this fifth command. Now here please pay attention, just copy this, paste over here, just wait. And here you can see this token. Now what you have to do, just copy this second, sixth command, just copy that, just simply run and here you can see it's asking for the access token. So just copy this token carefully and make sure that the token is not visible for us. So just simply paste and then hit enter. Okay, and you will get this kind of output. Now again, just simply scroll down, copy this command, paste and then copy the last command of task number two. Just copy that. And it's done now run the last command just wait until you get you get the external ip over here And finally, we got external IP. Now what you do, just scroll down and from the point number 2, 10, just copy this thing carefully. Do not copy that full stop, just copy like this. Okay, now come back over here on your notepad, paste, then copy this external IP carefully. Just copy like this, do not copy any extra space and just simply replace over here and make sure it must look like this. Now just copy this thing carefully, open a new tab, paste, hit enter, then click on this advanced option. Then click on this proceed. Now just simply come back to the lab instructions, scroll down, then copy this username, copy that, wait for a second, just simply paste, then copy the password, paste over here, and then click on this create option. Now here you can see asking for the license, so just simply scroll down, copy this command, come back over here. First of all what we do, we have to just simply terminate this command. How to do that? Just simply press Ctrl C. Then paste the command which is just copy and now just copy this license key carefully. If you make any kind of mistake then you will not get a success message over here. I will show you just paste the license key and then click on this register and once done you will get success message over here. Click on this cross now just wait and just simply close this unwanted pop-up. Now click on this manage then click on this defender then click on this deploy and then click on this choose name from the point number three and then just simply choose twist lock console like this way now just simply scroll down and here you can see from the point number 14 this thing third thing just simply on it okay then choose the linux like this way and then copy this thing just copy that come back over here and paste just wait until this thing is get completed meanwhile just simply scroll down we have done with all these things okay no need to done or anything just simply come on the task number three just copy this first command of task number three just wait now run the first command of task number three scroll down then copy this second command
Now run the second command of task number three. Okay, make sure you have to run this command. Now no need to run the third command. Just simply come on the task number five. Now here you can see Vim editor. Instead of using a Vim editor, we are going to use a nano editor. So basically, just copy this file name. Just copy this file name. Come back over here. Now here, please pay attention. First of all, just simply type nano space or paste your file name. Okay. Now just scroll down. Then copy this content. Paste over here like this. Then press Ctrl X. Shift Y and hit enter like this. Now just for the cross verification, just copy this command cat command and just simply run over here and make sure that you are getting this kind of output. If you are not getting this kind of output, that means you didn't edit, edit this file correctly. Okay. Now just scroll down, then copy this last command of this lab and just simply run. And once you get this kind of output, just simply come back over here and click on this check my progress. You will get a score without any issue. Yeah, and if you are not able to get a score, no need to worry. Just wait for a couple of more minutes and you will get a score without any issue. And that's the way we have to complete this live. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys.